Emergency dispatchers in Pozzuoli received 847 calls in 12 minutes, all reporting the same phenomenon. Steam erupting from cracks that appeared overnight in streets, basements and parking lots across the city. When geological teams arrived to investigate, they discovered something that triggered immediate alerts to volcanic monitoring stations across Europe. The steam was not escaping from random surface fractures. It was following a geological fault that extends eight kilometers underground in a direct trajectory toward Mount Vesuvius. The March ground rupture had accomplished what geologists considered impossible, creating a physical connection between Campi Flegrei's supervolcano chamber and Vesuvius's dormant magma system. Within 48 hours of the rupture, seismic networks detected synchronized pressure waves traveling through this underground corridor. Vesuvius recorded its first deep tremors since 1944. Temperature monitoring along the fault line registered thermal spikes, suggesting magmatic fluids moving between the volcanic systems. Steam emissions that had been absent for decades began releasing sulfur compounds from both locations. Civil protection authorities activated emergency protocols, treating both volcanoes as a unified threat system. Thermal imaging shows the underground pathway expanding under steam pressure. Seismic activity increases each time steam explosions fracture more bedrock along the corridor. If this geological highway continues developing, could pressure failure in one volcano trigger a catastrophic eruption in both? Are evacuation plans adequate for 3.5 million people facing simultaneous volcanic threats? And why are monitoring teams now referring to this as the first domino in a Mediterranean volcanic collapse? Nestled just west of Naples, lies one of the world's most complex and potentially devastating volcanic systems, Campi Flegrei. This sprawling caldera spans eight miles in diameter and represents the culmination of 600,000 years of cataclysmic eruptions that have repeatedly reshaped the Italian landscape and beyond. The origin of Campi Flegrei's destructive power traces back to two of the most violent volcanic events in Europe's geological history. The Campanian Ignimbrite eruption, which occurred 39,000 years ago, ejected 200 cubic kilometers of volcanic material into the atmosphere. This apocalyptic event blanketed Eastern Europe in a thick layer of ash and triggered global climate disruptions that lasted for years. But Campi Flegre was far from finished. 15,000 years ago, the Neapolitan Yellow Tuff eruption unleashed another 200 cubic kilometers of volcanic fury, further carving out the caldera that now looms ominously beneath one of Italy's most densely populated regions. As Dr. Giuseppe Mastrolorenzo of the INGV Vesuvius Observatory explains, Campi Flegre's geological structure represents a pressure vessel containing magma chambers at depths ranging from 3 to 8 kilometers. Unlike cone volcanoes, calderas operate as interconnected systems, where pressure changes in one chamber affect the entire network. It is this interconnectivity that makes Campi Flegre so dangerous. The caldera's magmatic plumbing is a labyrinthine network of chambers and conduits all linked together in a delicate balance of pressure and instability. When one part of the system becomes agitated, the effects can ripple out in unpredictable and potentially catastrophic ways. For residents of Pozzuoli and the surrounding region, living in the shadow of Campi Flegre has meant coexisting with the constant spectre of volcanic unrest. Historical records document four major periods of agitation since 1950, each following a disturbingly predictable pattern. The cycle begins with ground uplift, a phenomenon known as Brady Seism. As magma and hydrothermal fluids push upward from the depths, the earth itself begins to swell and rise. In Pozzuoli, this has shown as a gradual but inexorable tilting of the land causing ancient Roman ruins to slowly submerge beneath the waves. Next comes seismic activity. As pressures build within the caldera, 
the surrounding crust begins to crack and shudder. During the 1982 to 1984 unrest crisis, Campi Flegrai unleashed a barrage of 16,000 earthquakes, some powerful enough to send residents fleeing their homes in terror. Alongside ground deformation and seismic fury, the caldera ramps up its gaseous emissions. Fumaroles and bubbling mud pools belch forth noxious fumes, laden with carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and other volcanic gases. The air becomes thick with the acrid stench of the underworld. Thermal anomalies mark the final stage of the unrest cycle. As magma and superheated fluids rise ever closer to the surface, the ground temperature spikes in pockets across the caldera. In some cases, these scorching zones have reached temperatures high enough to cook an egg, serving as an ominous reminder of the ferocious heat lurking just below the surface. NASA satellite data has tracked the inexorable swelling of Campi Flegre over the decades. Since 1950, the caldera has inflated by a staggering 4.3 meters. Ominously, current uplift rates have now reached 2 centimeters per month, a 340% increase over the previous unrest periods. It is a worrying sign that the beast is stirring from its slumber. But the events of March 2025 have shattered all expectations of what Campi Flegre's unrest could entail. On March 13th, 2025, a magnitude 4.4 earthquake struck the caldera, the most powerful tremor recorded in decades. The true shock came in the aftermath. Using cutting-edge AI analysis techniques, researchers at Stanford University expanded the seismic data from the event, revealing a staggering 54,000 micro-tremors that had gone undetected by conventional monitoring systems. This groundbreaking analysis painted a picture of a caldera literally tearing itself apart from within. The data showed the earthquake had triggered a sudden activation of Campi Flegre's ring faults, the circular fracture system that bounds the edges of the caldera. These faults, which had lain dormant for centuries, were now shuddering to life and releasing bursts of seismic energy that rippled through the crust. The real bombshell came when the Stanford team traced those seismic ripples to their ultimate destination. The data showed the quake had opened a deep conduit, extending eight kilometers down into the earth. This new pathway was funneling pressure waves from Campi Flegre's magma chamber directly toward Mount Vesuvius. Dr. Tiziana Venorio, a geophysicist at Stanford Earth Sciences, put the implications starkly. She said the geothermal reservoir operates as a sealed pressure system and when the caprock fractures, it creates pathways for fluid migration that can destabilize connected volcanic networks. Within just 48 hours of the ground rupture, the signs of that destabilization were already becoming apparent. Thermal monitoring stations along the fault line registered temperature spikes of 12 degrees Celsius, suggesting the movement of magmatic fluids between the two volcanoes. At the same time, ste steam emissions from long dormant vents across both Campi Flegre and Vesuvius suddenly increased by 340%. These jets of vapor were now laced with sulfur compounds a telltale sign of deep magmatic gases rising to the surface. But perhaps most ominous of all was the sudden awakening of seismic activity within Vesuvius itself. For the first time since its last eruption in 1944, the infamous volcano was experiencing deep tremors, a chilling indication that pressure was now building within its long, silent magma chamber. The idea that Campi Flegre and Vesuvius could be physically linked is not entirely new. Geologists have long suspected that these two volcanic systems, along with others in the region, are part of a much larger interconnected network. Seismic tomography studies have revealed a vast magma accumulation layer stretching across the entire Campanian volcanic arc, lurking at depths of 8 to 10 kilometers. This suggests that in ancient geological eras, these volcanoes may have operated as a unified system, sharing magmatic fluids and pressure between their chambers. 
The historical records also hint at a forgotten era of volcanic connectivity. Ash layers from Campi Flegre's cataclysmic Campanian Ignimbrite eruption 39,000 years ago show signs of synchronicity with other nearby volcanoes, indicating a coordinated release of pressure across the network. But in the intervening millennia, these connections have lain dormant, sealed off by successive eruptions and the slow cooling of magmatic conduits. The volcanoes of Campania have slumbered in isolation, each one a ticking time bomb unto itself. Now, however, the March 2025 ground rupture has changed everything. The sudden reactivation of a direct physical pathway between Campi Flegrae and Vesuvius has, in effect, rewound the geological clock by thousands of years. The two volcanoes are now once again operating as a single unified threat, and the implications are nothing short of terrifying. The Naples metropolitan area is home to over 3 million people, all living in the shadow of this newly awakened supervolcano system. The Italian government's existing emergency plans, which were designed to cope with an eruption of either Campi Flegrae or Vesuvius individually, are now woefully inadequate. In a worst case scenario, where both volcanoes erupt simultaneously, the logistical challenges of evacuation would be almost insurmountable. Roads would be choked with traffic, communication systems would falter, and the sheer scale of the displacement could overwhelm emergency services and infrastructure across the entire country. But the dangers extend far beyond the immediate area around Naples. Ash from a coordinated eruption could blanket much of southern Europe, grounding flights and causing widespread respiratory emergencies. The region's vital agricultural lands could be buried under metres of volcanic debris, triggering a food crisis that would ripple across the continent. Perhaps most alarming of all is the possibility that the Campi Flegre and Vesuvius connection could be just the first domino to fall in a cascading sequence of volcanic awakening across the Mediterranean. The region is home to numerous other volcanic systems, all potentially linked by the same deep geological networks that have now been reactivated. From Mount Etna in Sicily to Santorini in the Aegean Sea, the Mediterranean is a hotbed of volcanic activity. If the pressure release from Campi Flegrei and Vesuvius were to propagate through these interconnected systems, it could potentially trigger a mind chain reaction of eruptions on a scale not seen since the dawn of human civilization. The scientific community is now sounding the alarm about the impending crisis in Naples. Volcanologists and geophysicists from around the world are converging on the region, desperate to understand the implications of this sudden geological reawakening. Dr. Mauro De Vito, a volcanologist at the Vesuvius Observatory, put it bluntly, we are dealing with a completely new paradigm in terms of volcanic risk. The connection between Campi Flegre and Vesuvius has the potential to impact millions of people and radically reshape the geography of southern Italy. The Italian government has now raised the alert level for both volcanoes to the highest possible level, indicating an eruption could be imminent. Emergency planners are working around the clock to devise contingency plans for the simultaneous evacuation of the entire Naples metropolitan area. But even as the authorities scramble to prepare, the ground beneath the city continues to shudder and quake. Each day brings new reports of steam vents opening up, of roads buckling and buildings cracking as the pressure builds inexorably beneath the surface. The question now is not if, but when the eruption will come. Will it be a localised event, a tragic but manageable disaster confined to the Naples area? Or will it be the catalyst for a volcanic cataclysm across the Mediterranean, one that reshapes the very map of Europe as we know it? The eyes of the world are now fixed on Campi Flegrae and Vesuvius, watching and waiting for the inevitable moment when the pressure building within these restless giants finally becomes too much to bear. The one thing that is certain is that the geological connections that have lain hidden for millennia are now awakening, 
and the consequences will be felt far beyond the Italian peninsula. The volcanoes of the Mediterranean are stirring, and the future of an entire region hangs in the balance. Subscribe to Earth Attacks for all the latest updates on this unfolding crisis. Our team of expert volcanologists and correspondents will be bringing you 24 hours a day, seven days a week coverage with exclusive insights and analysis you will not find anywhere else. As the ground heats up and the pressure builds, we will be your guide through every twist and turn of this geological mega drama. Do not miss a moment.